I've pushed start streaming. Now, I don't remember if that means the stream actually starts. Okay, it did. So that worked. Uh, so we appear to be streaming now. Uh, so to all the VOD watchers, hello. I'm Chris Vangelis Internet, and I am a trading card games, and also a trading card games player. I'm in uh, Harmony Wasteland 2, an online Transformers trading card game tournament event hosted by Bayformers. Now, that was a whole lot of words, uh, but I figured, let's try streaming it, because um, why not? Try to stop me. I'm playing against an up-and-coming kid uh, in this here trading card scene named Bill Moo, who runs uh, a, a bunch of the Bayformers stuff as well. <laughs> So I figured also the safest person to stream playing against is some is is also like someone who whoop I'm resizing the screen why is that happening? Uh sorry I'm uh, I'm new to using computers. Um anyway, I figured it'd be safest to play the game against someone who also is like hosting the tournament because that way I know that he won't stream snipe me because uh like why why would he do that? Why would he do that? Um Shout out to the chat. I see a Scorp X7 who says games. I see Digital Fanboy saying good afternoon here in the Philippines. I see Chicken Soup saying oh word. Anyway, I'm going to try not to like yell at the stream a lot because technically this is a tournament situation. And can you imagine if I was in an actual tournament and then just brought in an audience of like four people to stand there and yell at while we were playing? It would be crazy. Um, oh dear. Okay, so now I'm under pressure to perform and also be on the stream. Uh, would you like me to dance as well? Uh, well, the, the, the one thing I do want to ask is, does everyone in the chat hear Bill when he said the stuff he just said? Hello, Robot Lore Keeper. Uh, oh, yes. So, Hello, assembled players. While we wait and see if they... If they say, Zero Liddell says, loud noises interrupting your game. Oh, no. Ju judge! We, okay, Chicken Soup says they can hear you. Hi. Also, I'm playing against the judge, so the rules are going to be great here. Uh... Also, also, I should have mentioned, we're playing in Tabletop Simulator. This is a slight educational stream to show you that you can play this game in the Tabletop Simulator. Uh, which is a way to play Transformers TCG. Not only without grabbing a whole bunch of cards, that one wave of which is impossible to find now, but also this is a really easy way to interact with fan-made cards, because you don't have to print them, you just have to use them in this wonderful mod, which integrates a lot of the, the popular community sets, and is uh, maintained by Veril, which is his name over in Discord. That is not the name on Steam which would help you find the the Transformers TCG Tabletop Sim plugin, because I always forget his Steam name. Bill Moo, you certainly would know it, though. Uh, I, like to call him, I like to call him Seekirk uh, Veril. Seekirk Veril. Seekirk it just, you Veril. know, rolls off the tongue. Yes, it's uh, it's like Captain Kirk without the Aptin. So look up C if you if you look up Transformers TCG in the workshop for Tabletop Sim, then find the one by C Kirk. That's the one we're using that has all the fan set cards put in. Uh, and technically, that's all you need if you're going to play with anyone who can just hand you a deck. Because Tabletop Sim, you can just like hand someone a copy of a deck. It's really easy. Uh, but yeah, I, I I I'll stop my little preamble now. Um, Bill Moo, I'm running. Uh, I'm running a deck here that is featuring a stratagem from Team Bayformers Wave B Wasteland because that's one of the rules of this event. This is a beta test event where we're trying to gather data on the set that's currently in beta, which is uh, uh, Wasteland's uh, Wave BFB. So I'm running Sonic Doom, which is a stratagem from that beta set. For Dirge from Wave 2, a really neat idea <clears throat> of a character who sucks, uh, because Dirge's whole thing <laughs> from Wave 2 is that on his bot mode side, he he changes from a 4-attack a character to a 2-attack character, he gains Pierce 1, which is a game mechanic, but then he gets his power. If he does attack damage to KO an enemy without doing extra damage, he untaps. This is impossible to do on purpose. Almost literally impossible to do on purpose, uh, unless you set up his pierce really well. It's a lot of work, um, and it always made him a neat idea that no one would run. Um, if someone was going to run a self-untapping character, usually they would pay extra stars to run Blur, who doesn't need quite as much math. So, uh, in the upcoming wave, currently, this stratagem adds a star to Dirge's cost. Uh, here, I'll just I'll use the, my magic powers to make this easier to read. Um... It also gives Dirge an extra health, because Wave 1 and Wave 2 Transformers TCG characters 
it's been more or less agreed upon that their stats are under costed or, or understated for their star cost. So he gains a health, uh, he gains plus two attack while in bot mode, meaning he's a four two in both modes, and it gets rid of the part where you have to do uh, no extra damage. It's just if he KOs someone, he gets to untap. So that's that's what I'm running. I'm also running villain the spotlight, which gives me uh, an extra two stars of orange cards because I'm running all Decepticons. Um, and, uh, oh no, someone's writing on the table. Judge! How long is it? Is that hard to do? Or is that just freehanding? Do you have a, do you have a, what's it? Do you have a whack em? Uh, I'm drawing upside down, which is, you know, a skill. You're <laughs> you can just turn it around. If you hold right click. No, no, I like the challenge. Okay, okay. Uh, anyway, uh, we got an objective opinion coming in here, which is that this stratagem is good. Uh, now, it is worth noting that Bill Moo is, as far as I know, the designer of this stratagem, uh, but also he is my opponent, so objectively this is an opinion that he's just expressing here. Um, so my team... This is an opinion. Yeah, this is good. This it is a professional good. opinion, and it's correct. Uh, yes, um, I've, I've checked with, uh, with the science on that one, uh, and it's true. Um, how did Demolisher get on top of his own life counter? Here, let me fix that. Tabletop Sim, by the way, for those who don't know, is basically a physics sandbox that people put a lot of tabletop games in. Uh, it is currently one of the most popular ways to play tabletop games digitally. That does not mean it is a good system. It just means it's the one that exists and everyone uses. <laughs> uh, it's not terrible, but it has some jank. Here, let me just make my cards bigger, because I like doing that. Um... So I'm running Dirge, obviously, to go with his stratagem. I'm running Wave 2's Thrust. For those of you who played the game back then, might remember Thrust is a guy who makes someone else bigger. And I'm running Demolisher, because I needed six stars, and this is very aggro. So I'm running kind of a kind of a caveman-style, unga-bunga, hit-you-hard kind of deck. Um, I already have a problem with my deck build that I need to tweak now that I've played two games with it, but I can't tweak it in the middle of a tournament, and I especially can't tweak it in the middle of a tournament when I'm playing against the tournament organizer. That would be difficult to do and get away with. Um, especially You've got the judge, too. And is also judge a judge. Bill. The, the deck lists mm -hmm. are, um, are public as well, so I can't, I can't get away with anything. Uh, so, that's yes. my preamble. Bill Moo, what are you, what are you running here? Uh, we, got a, we got a comment from, uh, from I mean, someone in the chat that says, I, I would never play this game, ew. I don't like that guy. Whoever that guy out of is, I would definitely this is a um, bit. This is a ban bit. him from the... Uh... <laughs> I'm just going to let everyone know from the, in the future who's curious what's this, this is drama. No, this is a bit. This is a bit. Someone's doing a bit on, on my stream. I foisted it upon them the moment they came on Discord. Evangelist, please instruct us on how to promote a, another player so they can put their deck on the board. So, you want to promote another player so they can actually put their cards on the board. I, I thought somehow I already did it because you picked a color and I thought that was part of that too. So you click on them. I'm running the room, by the way. So you click on them and you go promote. That means that now, um, now this other player can put their deck on the table. Hooray! Okay, now I'm going to be a pain in the butt and get rid of my my mat because I actually don't like it. So you got um, rid of the. I'm using the the vanilla mat that comes with this this mod on this Kraken table. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, Dice Admirals, Bayformers TCG, a meme. No, Bayformers is just the name of this uh, this group. One of several groups who are making uh, community cards with the goal of balancing them uh, against other like-minded community cards for the sake of creating a fun gaming environment with, ideally, a sideways power creep as opposed to an upwards power creep. Uh, these are some, some Bayformers playmats. Bill Moods just basically opened his duffel bag and threw 15 playmats on the table as a flex to try to intimidate me. Um, um, accurate. Yes, you're not incorrect. Oh, who's, yeah, who's, who's what's this fine artwork here of one crash? Bash? Oh, 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 that I don't know. I I don't know. Who, uh, who worked I, on I this artwork? What, what, what are the art credits? <laughs> what, are the, what are the art credits? Why? Oh, for uh, Crash Bash here. Yeah. Crash Bash. Yes, this was uh, this was drawn by one of our in-house artists. Uh, I'm not sure if you've heard of him. Uh, his name is uh, uh, Bill Moo, and uh, the colors were done by a certain Crinston. So, artwork by a Bill Moo, colors by Crin Sin. Uh, hey, hey, Watsy, your move. We credited the artist. <laughs> I don't think they're going to move, sadly. Uh, no. They haven't been moving for a few months. <laughs> they they, they got to launch another 15 Magic the Gathering sets. 
Well, where, wait, where are your zones? How do I know? How do I know where your played area? Uh, no, oh no. The... <laughs> oh, okay. I almost, I almost put the, I almost dragged it off the table. But anyways, here's my deck. Uh, by the wow. way, since since I'm the host and this is right ways up, it did load his deck in upside down, which is a fun TTS uh, thing. Uh, so what? Why is that so big? What did you do? <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, usually it's about. Come on. Come on. He did what I did to my stratagem because it's, it's a new thing. Yes. But I'll make it big. I, I think it should be big because it's the combat deck. It's yes. an exciting yes. new stratagem that's in the uh, Wave BFB. Wave uh, here, I'm going to try, I'm gonna try to, set, I'm gonna set a camera angle for Bill and I'm going to set a camera angle for me. I'm going to try not to spin the table around too much after this opening bit uh, because unfortunately Tabletop Sim, another one of its funny things, is if I set these two camera angles here and then I try to switch them, you'd think it would just blink, right? Between the two. Here's camera one. Let me switch to camera two. Ugh. So I'm not going to do that too often, but I do want to be right ways up while uh, while Bill presents his... Oh, you flipped them all upside down already. I don't need to do... Okay, here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what What is being presented here are um, an array of cards, official and uh, community-made. This is also featuring some stuff that's in, in beta testing, specifically the combat deck, which features... A new mechanic uh, made by a Team Bayformers, which is vehicle stations, uh, which are very interesting. Uh, they add a very board gamey decision space uh, to this game that I have enjoyed so far in my limited experience with it. It's uh, a pretty good example of what I would call um, making the power creep go sideways as opposed to upwards. You create more decks rather than replacing existing decks, what where possible. It's there are there's a whole lot about game design that even as mostly a spectator, I've been learning from uh, this community set uh, journey that's been going on for soon to be longer than the lifespan of the actual official Transformers TCG, I believe was pointed at. Uh, I zoomed in there by accident. Um, so that's also what these tokens are for. Um, Bill Moo has created uh, some tokens here, um, which help communicate how all this station stuff works. This Optimus Prime is uh, is a non-beta character. This is from Wave Bayformers A. Uh, this is Dark Awakening Optimus, who is both an Autobot and a Quintesson. Um, and then Ravage here is an official character from the Blaster vs. Soundwave set. And then Solarbot here is from... Uh, I'm going to flip your card, excuse me. Uh, from Wave BFB. This is a beta character. Um, there. Also, when you're playing, don't flip your opponent's cards without asking. Um, I'm being rude because these are digital and they're not real. Um, oh, you're running... Okay, so they've got a couple stratagems running over here as well. Uh, two beta stratagems. There's a stratagem for Dark Awakening Optimus. And there is the combat deck, which introduces all kinds of things. And uh, the combat deck does not seem to have Roller appearing with it, um, which was... Uh, not required. Not, not required, required to run Roller. Didn't have room. That's right, you ran out of stars. Um... Uh, in the chat, we've got a great comment. Ugh, the jank barf emoji. Uh, yes, I agree. Uh, I agree. But you know, we're, we're it's it's all for data. We're 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 acquiring data here. Um, so yeah, Bill Moo, g explain to me uh, the layout of your deck, if you if you would. I'm putting you on the spot a little bit, and I did not warn you about doing a stream. So also, if you're at a loss for words, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh no, we've definitely got a little storyline going on here. You see. Um, uh, Dark Awakening Optimus Prime has been looking for, um, I would say, contraband cassettes. And he has stolen a few and also convinced them to work on his team. But in order to uh, work with them and his team, he's actually dragged his combat trailer onto the field, which we've never seen any uh, Optimus Prime do in the game before, which is represented by the combat deck. And since uh, Optimus Prime is known, uh, this particular version of Optimus Prime is known for stealing the Matrix for the uh, Quintessons, um, we have... Uh, extermination exercise uh, on the board to represent uh, his sort of backstabbery um, steel stuff kind of ways. Um, definitely brought on these cassettes as uh, traitors to their original cause. Uh, looks like Ravage is going to uh, get back at the Decepticons for, I don't know, staying in a warm um, cassette womb uh, for years and years and not being shown the light of day. Uh, same thing with Solarbot, who actually is the light of day, so... Not sure where we're going here, but it's a good team so far. I was going to say, uh, dang, you managed to bring a faction I'm running. You've also brought four of the six existing factions with you. So, uh, 
You, you, you did a good spread here. <laughs> it's a pretty nice spread. Robot Lorekeeper says, LMAO, he's just got tapes rattling around in his trailer. Yeah, no one ever said it was going to be a nice trip getting into his trailer. He's 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 rounding them up. He's not. He's, there's no little tape seatbelts in there. <laughs> this is Zombie Optimus. <laughs> it's very roomy in there. And uh, 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 Dark Awakening Optimus Prime is not a very good driver. So no, cracks in the windshield and everything. It's a mess. No seatbelts either. <laughs> Uh, by the way, he, he is going to take two damage at the start of the game, in case anyone gets confused at when that happens. That's that is a, true. That's a whole thing. These are these are some just a little tickety. There's a lot of little tickety thingamadudes you can get in, in Tabletop Sim, because it's just a physics sandbox. Uh, I'll, I'll also say, just up front, to be really clear about it, we are running a mixture of the official cards from the five-wave lifespan of Transformers TCG, along with cards from multiple other community sets, although in this tournament there is a focus on Bayformers Wave B, because that is currently in beta testing, which is one of the advantages afforded by um, having digitally produced and distributed fan cards, as you can beta test stuff, uh, and also if you need to tweak cards, you can just tweak the PDF and put out a new PDF, and now you've arrived at a card... It's great. Um, so, yes, uh, Bill Moo, you've got these little counters here. You put one over here. What's all this about? Yeah, so there's a few ways you can play stations. Um, I would say just the simplest way to play stations, especially if you're printing cards out and you don't have any other, you know, sort of knickknacks sort of lying around. Probably the easiest way to do it is, uh, and I can probably, let's, let's scale this down so you get a little bit of the actual experience here. Slight, slight um, uh, realism factor. Yeah, so let's say... Um, Let's say Ravage was going to jump into the loading dock. Um, one way you can represent that is literally, you know, um, the way that the enter stations is always uh, on uh, the battle, uh, when battle is determined, uh, when the, uh, an attacker attacks or a defender defends. And so if uh, Ravage, let's say, flipped over in this mode and looking to attack and maybe a bonus in, from one of the stations, you can flip into the attack and, you know, literally stick a corner of him into a station. And that allows you to at least see the bonuses that are on the side. So, for example, um, if Ravage had jumped in here for defense, now that he's in the loading dock, there's a little plus one defense on there. So he's going to get that additional plus one defense when he's in that station. Um, so that's one way you can represent it. Um, if you're looking to not maybe move your cards around so much, um, and you have some of these tokens around, you can actually use tokens to represent that action. So, same thing. Yeah. Now he's in the Defend, you drop the, um, the token that matches Ravage, and that represents um, Ravage being in that station. So that's another way you can represent it. Just That's definitely a lot easier if you're playing a lot of uh, upgrades. Yeah. Um, you don't want to move your, uh, uh, you know, your, your character away from your upgrades and get confused. Um, yeah, there's multiple different ways that we are designing to play stations and uh, represent characters being in them and getting out of them. Um, there's two of the ways there I just uh, described, but we're also coming up with uh, helper cards. So if you want to treat it something like a upgrade, you can actually use a help card that has the station on it. And yeah, you can like basically little, just slide it underneath. It's like a card with this little block here, um, just on the card. Uh, kind of kind of like a reference card from a board game. Um, exactly. Uh, yeah. we also, also, I just want to mention, someone in, in the chat, the topic of Giltor has come up. Uh, guess who's in, in, who's in Wave Bayformers A? There's a guy called Giltor. Uh, he's got a stratagem that gives him colossal cannons. It's true. Um... He does have big guns. Yes. I'm going to reorient the table here and zoom out a little bit. Uh, so when we start playing, I might be a little bit... I'm already pretty bad about being chat attentive, but when we're actually playing, I'm probably going to be focused mostly on uh, trying to intimidate Bill Moo um, verbally. Uh, however, uh, we're going to be playing a two out of three here, and uh, this is technically competition, although it is, uh, it is a harmony event, which is what I would, I would classify as a, a more casual competition event. Um, it is very much, uh, a way to encourage building up some data. That's part of the reason why I'm running Sonic Doom, because I looked at the stratagem amidst all the, um, wave BFB stratagems in the beta, and I had a feeling a lot of folks have been very focused on stations and on Junkions. I had a feeling Sonic Doom hasn't got a lot of play, so I thought, hey, I'll do my part for the data, and I'll run some Sonic Doom. And uh, it's been pretty neat, except for my first game, which was against possibly the best Metroplex player on the planet, who was running Metroplex. That's a real tricky situation for what Sonic Doom is trying to do. <laughs> uh, anyway, Bill Moo, did you roll that die? Go ahead. Go ahead and roll that die. All right. I'm going to press the R key to roll this die. We're going to roll off for priority. I got a two. 
Are you juggling the di- big dog on it? Four. All right. It's your call. You want to go first or second? This is altogether kind of scary for me. So I think I want to go f- second. Okay. So I'll go first. I am, yeah. I am starting the game with Ravage and the loading dock. And that is a, that is part of the station mechanic. Um, is, I'm going to paraphrase here, is that you can jump into a station when you attack or defend, or you can start the game in a station. On the station itself. And it says, when while an untapped player is in this station, that character has stealth. Now, uh, Ravage already has stealth, but I'm wanting to protect him a little bit more. You gave, <laughs> so, him, you gave uh, him stealth too. Yes, stealth too. Yes, new <laughs> mechanics. <laughs> Stealth 2 You're doesn't mean scared. anything. That's why it's funny. Laugh, audience. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, I'm going to draw my opening three cards, as you do in this game. And then since I am going first, I draw my card for turn. Good luck to you, my opponent. Uh, Good luck. That's real. Don't, also, don't, don't stream snipe <laughs> me. Don't stream snipe me. This is, this is pretty good. This is pretty good here. Uh, don't stream snipe me. I don't actually see my hand. One second. So he's got stealth, and he's got... Okay, so I have to attack, um, Dark Awakening Optimus. Because the other two have stealth when untapped. Okay. Hold on. First turn of this game, I can't play any cards. It's one of those TCG card... Dueling card game things. Usually the first turn or two are slightly altered. In this case, I can't play any cards out of my hand, and second turn, you can only play one card out of your hand. Then you can play an action and an upgrade. That being two cards on your turn. I'm going to. I'm going to flip. Demolisher. Wave one Demolisher, by the way, original TCG character. <laughs> Aside from okay, original wave. He's not. He wasn't made up for this. You know who Demolisher is. And I'm going to attack with Demolisher. Um, I'm going to support his attack because Thrust has the ability. Uh, when one of your characters attacks, you may tap this. I'm going to tap Thrust to give his base attack of three to Demolisher as a bonus. Uh, and then Demolisher is going to flip, instead of two cards, six cards, according to the rule on his card. I'm going to use these handy... Are you, attacking evil, Optimus? Are you attacking evil Optimus? I have to. Yes, you do. So, and as you attack me, I'm going to jump into the repair bay. Damn it. Yeah. So you get plus one health. Oh, I hate this. You don't mm-hmm. need more health. You have 15. Uh, I don't have 15, I have 13, but now I have 14. <laughs> true. Alright, so there is my flip for Demolisher, no white pips. I'm coming in with 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Pierce 3. Uh, there's a white pip. Uh, you are going into 5. All right, so I do three or pierce three. It still works that way, even with fan Take cards. The three. All right, uh, then I'm going to push. Give me trades. Together. I had no green pips. I'll trade. Scan the vaults for riffraff knickknacks. These are all. These are all. I don't know what either of those cards do off the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> I will draw for turn. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Now, fancy pants players would just hear card names and be like, oh, I know what that does. I've never been good at that. Magic, never been good at that. So put me off Commander Magic because there's one million Magic cards and everyone knows what they all do. Let's flip Ravage. Oh, boy. Hmm. Let's flip Ravage. Oh, Let's play a Riff Raff Knickknacks on Prime. Well, he's not a junkie on. He is not a junkie on, so none of the text actually applies other than the fact that you can play three of them on him. True. <laughs> and we'll send we'll send Ravage into where oh I have two choices here. Um, yeah. hmm. Neither of them have friendly defense. Ah, but Ravage has a high degree of stealth or uh, Pierce. So but I do think that uh, Demolisher is the threat here, so we'll go into Demolisher. Alrighty, I'll flip my two for defense. I'm still slightly narrating mechanics here, because I'm assuming there are people watching who never played this game. Looks like I'm going in for... 
Three pierce two. Uh, three to my four defense. The pierce two goes through, so I take two damage. Otherwise, none of it would have gone through, because Demolisher's got a big, fat base four defense, which is, I think, That's still true. the highest base defense in the game. It's pretty good. It's right up there with Dark Mount and a couple yeah. other, I think, maybe perhaps one other character. I'm going to trade a Piercing Blaster for Riff Raff Knickknacks. Why are you putting all these Riff Raff Knickknacks on? The... What's going on? Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to draw my card for turn. Ho ho. Ho 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 ho. Ah, hee hee. Yeah. All right. Uh, action for turn. Ready for action. Indeed. I'm going to untap thrust. Upgrade for turn. I'm going to put a grenade launcher onto thrust. Ouch. I'm going to flip for turn. Dirge. And then I will attack with Dirge and support him with Thrust. So Dirge gets a plus 7 off of Thrust's 3 plus 4. So I'm coming in that with... That is a mighty swing. I'm coming in with a base of 11. I'm coming at you for 13. 13, let's see. 13. Uh, let's see, is that a Decepticon that's attacking me? It yes. is. So, um, extermination exercise goes off, which means that uh, you have minus one attack and I have plus one defense. I'm coming at you for 12. Let's see, so one, two, counting the stratagem, three, st counting the uh, station, four, five. So, uh, 12, blocking five, takes seven. Oh, this is bad. This is already going very badly. Uh, Alright, I have two green cards here. Um... So I can pick to take one up off the table. Uh, I think I'm just going to... Let's see, what do you have? You had an extra damage. Then you were... Do I? You had plus 7, plus 4, plus 3. 7, plus 4, plus 2. Right? Didn't you put the double uh, on? The Dark Awakening Prime Stratagem reduces it by one because it's the same faction. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry. We, we, yeah, was, I came in with 13, but then this turned it to 12. I thought you had a double line on your foot, sorry. Oh, no, no, yeah, they were both, they were both orange-greens. Uh, alright. So. Judge! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't... Th I feel like I should pick this up, but also I don't like to just, like, pick up Bashing Shield because it's there until there's a reason. Uh... Focus Fire is a very nice card. Focus Fire is also really good. Ah! I, yeah, I think it's too late for these. I'm going to trade a Muster of the Will. Um, I'm going to pick up a Focus Fire. Okay. Your grenade launcher goes away. It doesn't! Oh, no, it does not, because you didn't actually attack with Thrust. That's yeah, correct. Thrust just tapped. That's, that's the power of the Thrust launcher. But uh, yes, this, deck, trade... this deck is, is very hinged on me killing someone on my second turn, and I didn't. So this is going to be uh, difficult. I'm going to trade Patrol the Perimeter for Monofiber Filament. All right. And draw for turn. Shout out to folks in the chat, Ozzy and Scorp, who I recognize as players Ooh. in this event, even. Let's flip Prime. Oh, this is gonna He's suck. the worst for wear. Let's put a... Hmm. All Decepticons. That's just yeah, really inconvenient right now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so... Oh, ugh. I'll put a riffraff knickknacks on Prime. What are you doing? <laughs> and I already used my flip this turn, so I'll just go in with Solarbot for a uh, stunning zero, uh, likely Pierce zero. <laughs> against against whomst, though? It's going to be Demolisher. All right. So. Oh. Attacking for zero pierce a lot. All right. The way the pierce mechanic works, by the way, is that it, it the the pierce number is how much of your existing damage will go through regardless of defense. So you you got a bunch of pierce, but you got zero attack. So your zero pierces through to do no damage to me. 
As for the viewers, I will trade. Oh, do you have any trades? Oh, no, actually, I'm, I'm attacking. So uh, I'll trade mono fiber filament for riffraff knickknacks. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> it is your go. By the no, way, Solarbot not... has stealth because he has tapped. I'm tapped out. You got to attack with Optimus as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me grab these cards I just flipped. That's just rude of me to just mm. put them in the scrap pile all willy nilly. Let's uh, mm. let's attack Prime. with Prime. Into who? Into attack Prime into Demolisher. What did Demolisher do to you? A lot of things. I didn't flip any of my blues. Uh, going in for six. Can I have your blue flips? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, six to my four, I take two. Okay. No trades. Yeah, me neither. All right, it is what we call colloquially the wheel turn. We're all tapped out, so we all stand mm -hmm. up. Yep, we all stand up. Um, the combat or the repair bay goes off, where it says, "When a character in this station, uh, when a character is in this station, all characters untap. And if you have at least one other character on the battlefield, repair one from this station from the character in this station." So Prime goes down to four, and I will have him come out of the station, and I think I'll have uh, Ravage stay. All right. It is your go. I will draw for turn. F -f 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 All right, action for turn. I'm going to play a rolling action, Muster the Will. This is uh, the other Ooh, new mechanic. How does work? So this is another new mechanic uh, that w that is uh, fairly fresh from the community. Rolling actions are another type of action in addition to secret actions. What a rolling action does is when you play this card, you play it tapped. And then at the start of my next turn, it untaps... And then it, once it's untapped, at any point, I may scrap it when its scrap condition happens, and then get what I get for scrapping it. So this is kind of like a face-up secret action, but they just stay in play in perpetuity, so you can build up a series of, usually, a series of small combat buffs um, to have ready to go in case you need them. This also thins your deck down, because they're no longer in your deck rotation. So there's a multifaceted decision points going on there. Um... That was my action for turn. Uh, do I want to do? A it flip? was. I don't. I don't want to do a flip for turn. I don't think. I want to do a. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Ah. Okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you okay over there? <laughs> I'm having decision space. Excuse me. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, this isn't what I wanted to be doing. Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Sorry, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about something. Uh Someone give Vangelis an upgrade, so I can process it. Faster! This die is confusing me. I'm putting it back in the dice bowl. Uh, damn! I, hmm. I can't, show my, I can't show my hand to my opponent, but I can highlight the thing that I really want to do, but it's hard to do right now. Oh. <laughs> this is I probably shouldn't look at the stream then. <laughs> don't, look at, don't look at the stream, please. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing a tooltip. <laughs> But someone can't because of... Ah, uh, okay, that's fine. You know, we're, we're, we're normal, calm folks around here. Um, <laughs> someone in the chat before you do that. And this has stealth. Because uh, like, there is something I can do. It just feels objectively worse to do it. Spread that damage. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That looks like a bot. There's a bot. There's a bot, the the chat. bot called Naked Online Strips Clothing. That's it. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm gonna 
hide user. And I'm going to remove these messages. Hang on. Can I even report one? I'd love to report it. Message deleted. Uh, it's spam. Report. All right. Dealt with it. Hopefully I only did that to the spam bot and not to any actual user. <laughs> My apologies if I did it to you. This is like a weird button lag on the on the mod controls. Um, okay, I understand why you're putting these things onto Optimus Prime now. <laughs> They're contraband from Planet Junkie. Online Strips is really impressed by those cards. <laughs> uh, okay. Bill Moo, you've put me in a in a tricky spot. That's good. That's good. That's the point. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Oh boy. Uh, I think I need to lower your decision. I'm going to flip Demolisher. Draw a Ooh. card for each of my other tanks. I had to say other, didn't other I? Other tanks? I mean, Thrust is kind of like a tank. Upgrade for turn. Sturdy Javelin. Oh no. Uh, I'm going to attack with Demolisher. When I attack, I will throw the Sturdy Javelin uh, at. Ravage. He is not dead. Why isn't Why isn't he dead? Please. Those are riffraff knickknacks are keeping him alive. He has two health left. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> uh, Demolisher is going to uh, attack Ravage. You cannot, because he is in stealth. Oh yeah, he's in the thing. Oh, I misread your own card. Ignore everything I just. Did. Well, you can't ignore it, but. <laughs> Uh, no, that's fine. Do you want to take it back? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna... Now that I've read Dark Awakening Prime fully, uh... <laughs> Judge! Can I rewind some actions that did not involve hidden information other than my own? Yes. <laughs> Alright. So let's say... Let's say that I rewound that attack and rewound that flip and rewound that card play and then played Sturdy Javelin uh, onto... Um, oh, that's even worse. No, never mind. Never mind. He's got to do. We got to do what we got to do. I'm gonna do two damage yep. to Ravash. Uh, and I'm gonna go into Optimus Prime with a base of three. This whole situation nice. is difficult. As that, intended. by the way, is a tenant of of semi casual competitive play. Is that we have the gentle persons agreement uh, to to be silly like that. I'm coming in with four Pierce one. Oh, I'll jump in the repair bay. By the way, um, you said four Pierce one. Yes, I will take the one. Ugh. Ugh. Efficient. Effective. Ugh. Demolisher. <laughs> How am I supposed to collect Sonic Doom data if you if you aren't letting me uh, 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 doom you sonically? <laughs> you know, sometimes data isn't data. Sometimes data is lore. I will draw a turn. I hate this. I hate what? No, you can't just say that. <laughs> Oh, my hand is doing weird things. Hold on. You see, Data is a character from Star Trek The Next Generation, and Lore is a, a guest character from Star Trek The Next Generation who is Data's brother, technically. That's the root of the joke that Bill Moo made. Ooh. So I'm going to play I'm gonna play a card that comes from the Ark, Wave 1. Ark, Wave actually, one. Ark is really another like. uh, community group who are making cards. Yes. There are two Scan the Vaults in the, uh, in the scrap pile, so I'm going to play Scan the Vaults. Um, this allows me to draw a card and also draw a card for each scrap uh, scan vault that's in there. So you're going to draw um, three scrap cards. Out. So I'll draw three cards, which is value. I like that. And uh, yeah, the value is uh, was actually in the end uh, somewhat debatable, but I, I can work with this. Um, PP Poo Poo says the streamers are stealing my jokes. Correct. <laughs> oh, if you want more uh, uh, Star Trek jokes um, and puns, um, just keep listening. Um, no, you can't do this to my... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. We'll look at my scrap pile again. Mods, help, help, help. 
I'm giving okay. I'm giving the streamers. Oh, help. please help! <laughs> um, wait, that's uh, that's the uh, fifth element. Um, Before I'll play another was in one of the movies. No, you can't play another one. Uh, I'll play another riffraff knickknacks. That's. <laughs> I will flip Solarbot and send Solarbot into well where he's got to go. Yes. White Pip. No, oh, it's a three. I flipped a blue. My defense is four. I didn't even need to flip a blue this time. Oh. Nope. Just making it a waste of flips. How could you do that to my deck efficiency? Uh, I'm gonna draw <laughs> turn. Ooh, well, that's a fun, that's a fun, that's a fun, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a fun, um, so this guy, this guy's fun. got 12 health right now, then. He does have 12, 12 health right now, yes. All right, this is uh, when are under the, de oh, right, right, I remember that, that wording is being tweaked to do what it, the intent is to do. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this wording on yes. Solarbot, his ability text does not really have anything to do with me right now. Um, Correct. You had to play characters that don't have hijinks around cards underneath them or on them. Or I played this the most dead ass caveman with a club style deck, which I <laughs> I don't usually do. I'm always the over clever and not smart enough to run his own deck, Decepticon Blue player most of the time, and I'm just running like like Durrah! crush. Um, Wave sign says reading the card explains the card. Correct. Uh, I'm gonna go for a gamble because we're streaming, so we're gonna take big. We're gonna take big risks. Oh, also this untaps because it's the start of my turn. I forgot. Um, so that's available to me now when a character defends. I am going to play Crystal of Power on Dirge. Uh, so I've got eleven plus three. I've got fourteen coming in. I've got 14 coming in. If you flip no blue... I'm going to do this out loud for the audience. This is this is aggro deck math. I've got 14 coming in. I need to do 13 to you if you don't flip any blue. There's these And your stations are full. There's still a chance you may flip blue. Therefore, on to Dirge, I am going to play a Focus Fire. Oh no! Off of which I will play a second Focus Fire. Oh no. So Dirge now has bold three. Uh, Dirge will attack Solarbot with bold three and a base of uh, four, seven, fourteen. I gotta flip. Blues! I am defending for three. I'm coming in with eighteen, Pierce one. <laughs> Well, just let me let me clean it off the asphalt. Thank you. All right. So, uh, oh yeah, I have to tap. Hang on, I have to tap thrust as well. So Dirge uh, KO'd someone with his stratagem, meaning I just had to KO them. So Dirge untaps. Uh, these go into played. I have no flipped green pips. I'll I will draw for turn. I have no cards in hand, so it doesn't matter if I had flipped green pips. And I battled, so the Crystal of Power gets scrapped. I think what needs to happen is I need to remove either Demolisher or Thrust. I think that'd be good. Those are, those are the two targets you have, yes. It's true. <laughs> Let's see. So he has three health remaining. Ravage by himself has about that much remaining. <laughs> and... Hmm, what, let's see. How should we do this, then? I think, I think Prime can take a bit more damage, so how about we just give him... I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to play a steady shot on Prime. The uh, broken card. <laughs> we'll flip Ravage. And give, uh, give Prime Pierce 2. I hate this. Uh, how about we also give mm, choices, 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 choices are difficult. You know what? I'm going to take that back. 
since we have a gentleman's agreement, I'm going to take back that steady <laughs> shot. <laughs> I know. And yeah, I kind of, I kind of don't want that. Uh, yeah, I kind of don't want that uh, grenade launcher on the uh, thrust. So I'm going to vaporize. Why it. are you vaporizing my? Gr- oh. <laughs> because no fun for you. No fun for you. Um, and we'll just put a. Um, I really need to kill him. Yeah, we'll put a. We'll put an end on X. Hey, your, your deck list is public information. Are you running equipment enthusiast? I am not in this deck. But I probably should. <laughs> that would have been smart. That that would have been smart. But That's going fine. into going into demolisher, I already have the pierce. To I am going to scrap point. muster the will for plus two oh. defense, and your pierce is reduced by one. Oh, well, I still have the pierce. <laughs> so oh wait, you going in. You. Can I gentlemen's agreement yeah. that muster the will scrap? And just leave it sitting there. <laughs> Plus, I have black tip, so yeah. I forgot about <laughs> what the is this exactly? Because you just played that. That's nine, a, uh, nine, uh, four, five, six. Yeah, nine pierce six. All right, uh, nine pierce <laughs> six. Well, get ready for it. I defend three, so I take six. That's creepy. The pierce. Okay, I'll explain this in a second. So demolisher is KO'd. <laughs> When I used to get to interview people who designed this game, I said, isn't it weird how Pierce often equals the attack that gets through a lot of the time? And Drew Nolosko was like, yeah, it's almost like we designed it that way. And then I've always <laughs> felt like, yeah, but how would you... Pu-? And then we're two years into community sets almost, and still he came in with Pierce 6, but he just did 6 damage without the Pierce anyway. It really creeps me out. Anyway... <laughs> It's the magic hoodoo that's in the game. I have to get that off my chest. Um, all right. So didn't you dra- play that? Doesn't that go away? <laughs> did, can, did we? I thought, did we? Gentlemen's agreement that because I because I didn't. Oh, I don't know. If you didn't actually need it, then yeah, you can keep it. I can. I'll, I'll scrap it. I, I misunderstood. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna draw for. I'm just, I'm I'm just bitter because you killed my Autobot. It's true. My, oh, my where cassette. were you? Yes. I didn't need you, but where were you before? Okay. Can I kill Optimus Prime? <laughs> no. Uh, so I'm going to flip Dirge. When I flip to this mode, has, I get plus one. He has uh, 14 health. He has 14 health right now. I get plus one to land a turn for each character in your opponent's KO. So I have a base attack of five now. Um, and I am going to swing Dirge into Optimus Prime. With a base of five. White Pit coming in for Ooh. eight Pierce one. Eight Pierce one blocking three. Take five. That's right. You take five. That's right. You can get him, Dirch. You show that guy who's. You give it to him. Give it to him. I hate to break it to you, but Dirch never showed anyway anyone during D one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, getting bullied. Name, I'm getting bullied by the judge. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to also mention to everyone the name of my deck. The deck name that I have on Teletran.net is uh, is HWL2 Stratty Boom Doom. And I think it's the best deck name in the event, unbiasedly. I think you're correct. PP Poo Poo asks, can you kill Optimus Prime? He's a truck. Uh, true. What are you doing? I'll put a Lagarden Spalders on Prime. You don't need this. <laughs> I do need it. I do need it. And I'll put a Steady Shot on Ravage. Wait, what is that? <clears throat> you don't need to give Ravage all these buffs. We'll go into Dirge. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm on the last card of my deck, so these buttons stop working. Uh, TTS thing that's really fun when you want to recycle your deck. It's really easy. F to flip. Uh, mm-hmm. R to shuffle. Boom. Going in for five pierce two. Five to my two, I take three. Oh, you're tapped out. I am. Hey, so are you. That means we, that means we untap. 
Or as we say colloquially, uh, we stand up on the wheel turn. I will repair one because of the repair bay. Stop. And I will jump out. Um, and I think I think I keep it in this mode. All right. Oh, right, right. This can also flip. Much like Optimus Prime's trailer in G... I'm going to draw for turn. <laughs> well. Well, well, well. You know, this is a game of Transformers, so what you might not know is the combat deck stratagem transforms. Look at all that! Alright. <laughs> they had enough time. <laughs> You can go on to Bayformers.net to look at all those new cards at your leisure by the Bayformers.net, right? Did I get that right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Uh, Michael Bay decides. So how much health does Optimus have right now? He has 18 total, so he has 9 health uh, nine health left right now, but if he jumps into the repair, repair bay, he has 10 left. Okay. I'm going to flip Dirge because that's my flip decision. Or am I? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait. Transformed like in Star Trek, we are the creator. I just realized Ravage is hidden forever. Technically, he could be. Uh, huh. feel like we got to take risks. Also, the best way to make an alien is just to shave their heads. I feel like we got to take risks. I'm going to flip Thrust. Ooh! Thrust. Is Thrust about to attack? Thrust will attack Optimus Prime. Optimus will jump into the repair bay. Coward! <laughs> Hiding in your... He's using his recent. He's using his combat deck. Hiding in your back to tank like a cowardly <laughs> Skywalker. <laughs> the Sith operate in absolutes, and this absolute says, "I'm attacking you for eight. Eight. Uh, let's see. Seven, six, five, four, three. Take three. That's too much defense. I have no trades. Neither do I. Star Wars is topical, you see, right now, because the trailer for Obi-Wan Kenobi has dropped. Pee Pee Poo Poo says, bald people are aliens in disguise. I think that's accurate. Let's see. Scorp says, dirge doing numbers. So, that's right. Fear. Thrust is currently presenting himself. Death so let's flip you. Ravage. I'll flip Ravage. So now Prime has Pierce 2. Let's give a steady shot to Prime. Death comes to Hugh. We'll just attack where we, we'll just attack where we gotta go. I flipped the blue. Uh, going in for eleven Pierce four. Eleven to my two, I take nine. I lived. Excellent. All right. I'm going to draw for turn. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. Action return. Ready for action. No. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> uh, let's see. So how much health? He's got an 18, right? He has 18, so he has six, uh, uh, seven. He has seven right now, because he's in the repair bay. Right, he's got seven left through all that nonsense. So. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, You're going to have to pull out the stops. F. F. <laughs> um. I'm going to flip Dirge. 
I'm going to not look at the chat while I look at this and try to make a decision. Uh... Oh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's definitely a Star Trek joke. Obi-Wan Kenobi from the planet Tatooin. I don't think that this helps my poor guy who's in poor shape. Because you have too many cards that can make that into a big old pile of grapes. <laughs> so I'm going to play my minor medic kit onto Dirge. Oh dear. And it will be Thrust who will go forth! Well, no. Why would it? Oh, I know why it would be. Because I'm greedy. Thrust will attack Optimus Prime. Base of five. That's a wonderful decision. Coming in for seven, Pierce one. Oh, never mind. Okay. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Take one. Also, I just, I, I, yeah, I just realized. I just realized Ravage is permanently hidden. That was silly. Well, either way. <laughs> <laughs> He's not permanently in stealth. Oh, yeah, well, he's he's permanently in stealth while he stays in that mode. In our, in our current game state. No trades for me. Drop turn. Make a bad decision. Tattooing. It rhymes. <laughs> hmm. 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 This is interesting. Okay. Let's play a secret action. Ugh. Ugh. Blech. It's a secret to everyone. Let's flip Ravage. Let's put a monofiber filament on Prime, ditching the Energon X. Stop it! You don't even need to buff Ravage this much. I can't attack him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just preparing for the future. Okay, and we're going into where we gotta go. What future? <laughs> future! The future. If I can ever attack Ravage, all that goes away. <laughs> yeah, Pierce 4. <laughs> Take Pierce 4. <laughs> yeah, well, I defend... I defend what, st uh, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Pierce 4, yeah. This is... Uh, this is... This is... What is it? Uh, this is... Uh, you've escaped the killer, but you're standing by the exit, and you're, you're teabagging the floor. You're clicking your flashlight at me. Uh, all right. I is that Lincoln Park? Huh? Is it Lincoln Park? Sorry, I don't, I don't I'm really... know, I've never been to Lincoln Park. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna draw for turn. <laughs> Make a bad decision. Yo, yes. look at the... hey everyone who's not stream sniping me. Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, you can attack anyone you want. Yeah. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can gonna... attack anyone you want as long as it's Optimus Prime and Ravage, not the player that's playing these two. Well, no, you can, can only play. You can only attack the character cards. Okay, I'm gonna. Ra I'm raising my finger and adjusting my glasses. Well, I would like to attack Ravage. He doesn't have stealth right now. Yeah, he does. No, he doesn't. It's only when it's he's untapped. Oh, okay. Never mind. I feel a lot better about that last turn. For some reason, oh, I didn't see the first part on loading dock. I'm still processing mm -hmm. all these cards. I'm bad at it, though. A lot of folks are better at this than me. That's why we're streaming, so you can all... If everyone out there... Hey, let's be real. For, let me turn the chair back backwards around for a second. If you... is me, the playmat. If you, the player, are having a lot of trouble like processing lots of cards, don't worry. I am, too. But that's why a great community is here to help. Uh, all right. I'm going to flip Dirge for the plus... One. Oh, no. So you've got three defense right now. I have three defense right now. And you've got plus one attack and plus three health. So you've got three defense and 12 health. So I'd need to do six to you. Uh, yeah, it's only going to happen without a, bit <laughs> of, a little bit of help. So I'm going to flip for the plus one. And... Uh, 
Let's see. Is that gonna? Yeah, no, it's not gonna. Ugh, it's not gonna get me through. He's singing the dirge of Solarbot. Uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> Zero says that's how Brave Two works. I'm gonna play Focus Fire <laughs> for the bold one. Mm -hmm. And then I will tap Dirge to attack Ravage. I'm gonna get a little help from my Tetranite Microlining. Oh wait a second! Wait a second! Oh. And he also gets you also get minus one attack, and I get plus one defense. Oh both man! Decepticons. Do I want to go at him? Or, is it actually more useful <laughs> useful to go at Optimus Prime? <laughs> yes, if you don't want that. <laughs> I don't think... Okay, I can't kill either of them. Oh. Oh. Uh. Well, yeah. You have a lot, you'll have better luck trying to kill the kitty because he has armor. Yeah, yeah he's got... They both have two... No, they have... Yeah, so Prime has three defense, but he's got four defense and I minus one attack if I attack him. <laughs> neither, neither of these situations are good. Um, I'm going to attack Optimus Prime. As you do. I think that's the, there's a remote, there's a remote distant chance that something could happen as a result of this. Look at those flips. White pip flips. I'm coming at you for five, six, seven, eight, pierce, one. Eight, pierce, one, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, zero. Pierce is negated. Take nothing. <laughs> Satisfaction oh. rises. I'm going to trade for a focus fire. And we all untap? Yes. I will I will repair one, since Ravage is nice enough to repair the, or operate the repair bay for me. Uh, Scorp, thanks for the reminder. Bounty one. And I will flip the combat deck. What? Unnecessary. Did you flip the Ravage's tough one? Oh, I didn't hear that. What was it? Did you flip for Ravage's tough one? I wasn't looking at your side um, of the during that. I think I did. Yeah, yeah, because uh, it was Optimus that... Yeah, I did flip through. Yes, I remember doing that. Okay. I have not drawn for turn, but I will now. Ooh... <laughs> Spicy. Um, I don't see how I don't do this. Okay, I will play a lion weight. I don't see how I don't do this. Let's play an energon axe on Ravage. We'll swing into where we got to go. I will jump into the auto launcher console. I do have a weapon on me, so I'll do one damage to Dirge. You know, I do don't do see how you don't do this. <laughs> and Ravage is a Decepticon, so he gets plus one attack, while Dirge has minus one defense. Uh, 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 no. no. Ooh, those are nice flips, too. So coming in for three plus one from Prime plus... Crime? Okay, I'm, I'm throwing lots. Three, let's see, three, six, seven... Eight from the stratagem, nine from the station, nine pierce, four? Nine pierce four. Uh, nine to my three minus one, so nine to my two, I take seven. I'm alive. Yes, you're alive on minor medkit. Uh, no, no, because uh, I had four plus seven is eleven. And I have plus one health from Sonic Doom, so I have three. Oh, that's right. Excellent. You know, Sonic Doom says plus one health. Uh, I'm gonna draw for turn. <laughs> I'm gonna flip dirge. <laughs> toxic. Here we go. It's time to be toxic. Um. <laughs> All right. Does Ravage has something that's messing with my Pierce? Uh, not currently. Oh, uh, Prime does have tough one though right now. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Toxic! I'm going to play a Fusion Borer onto Dirge. Hey, aren't we getting rid of that card? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> good, balance, good balance card. Good balance card, that Fusion Borer. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Okay, what reduced the pierce last time, by the way? I, I lost track. Uh, I think it was Tetranite Microlining. Right, 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 right. And you don't have a secret action out this time. I do not. You currently have... Oh, wait a second. So you currently have three health left. Mm-hmm. So, Kitty then die. And Dirge's song will only rise in power. I'm going to play Focus Fire on Dirge for bold one. <laughs> Actually, wait. Gentleman's Agreement. What? Sorry, Gentleperson's Agreement. I'm going to pull it back because I realize Dirge has inherent... Dirge has inherent peers. Yeah, okay. So I have a base of Pierce 4. And I feel okay about that. I'm going to attack Dirge into Ravage. With As a, you will. a 7 Pierce 4 base. <laughs> <laughs> Let me flip first. Pierce, that's a good mechanic. 8 Pierce 5! <laughs> yes. Okay. You only had three health, so I know, but I was eyeballing I was eyeballing that thing on your combat deck. Oh, but look, he just cleared out of the station from KO. Which means Oh no. <laughs> Rough turn. Uh what is clear oh, out hang on, hang on, what does clear out of station from KO do? Oh uh, it, means it means it's, it's now available for somebody else to use. I thought there was an effect attached, and I was like, where does it say there's an effect attached? <laughs> Uh, so I, I KO'd him, so the Dirge on taps. All right, zero. go. I'll play another Monofiber Filament. You don't need to. <laughs> I have nothing else to play, so I will swing. All right. And I'll jump into the... Why don't we have Honorable Control. Warriors... <laughs> <Come on. laughs> after, pu after pushing aside the Ravage Corpse that's in the Auto Launcher Console, I will jump into it myself. That's just do one damage to Dirge I and swing. It. All right. Oh, there's a, white, there's a white pit. Going in for eight, nine. Looks like nine. Wait, six, eight, nine. Yeah, nine pierce three. Nine pierce three. Okay, so you, I know it looks like nine to my two, and it looks pretty bad. <laughs> However, you'll notice on my flips, if I arrange them like this, and you look at the first letter of each card... It spells eat it, Joe's. It says Mike's. Uh, now that activates a new mechanic, uh, the Mike Sounders um, uh, audio uh, force field, so I now have 14 defense, uh, so GG. <laughs> I accept this. Uh, good game, good game. That was game one. <laughs> <laughs> that was game one. Uh, I'll put this back in here. So, order of operations. I first state if I want to go first or second. Right? Correct. All right. Let me just put these back. Uh, I... Wait, did you go first last time, or did I go first? I forgot. I, I, I let you go first. I was uh, I wanted to go second. Yeah, I don't want to give you what you want. So... <laughs> I'm going to go second. Who does? Not even me. I'm going to go second. So now, next, my next question is, since I've chosen to go second, are you sideboarding any characters? I am, I am. I say that I am. And who, whomst are you? No, put that back. <laughs> put, the, put that away. Okay. It looks like an RC. Just, just, just ugh. Put, that, put that away. Um... <laughs> Do I want to now sideboard any characters? And how relevant will that be in the long run? I think... Huh. When faced with... Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna think about this too much. Uh, I want to showcase more cards. I'm gonna sideboard a character. 
put Demolisher over there. Put in the slightly relevant Rabble Rouser. Oh no! You have Rabble Rouser in your sideboard? Oh no! This has plus three when attacking a Quintesson. Who's a Quintesson? This is you! real bad. You, you this zombie! This is real bad. You're a Quintesson! <laughs> no! No! Uh, also, gentlemen's agreement. Also, with, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to now rewind all these decisions. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to lay out one part of my decision space. RC, when she attacks in bot mode, all of her attack is Pierce. That makes Demolisher's life very difficult. Because he relies on having a lot of defense and very low health. His a lot of defense stops mattering with RC. It's very easy for her to just kill him in one attack. So, I'm going to do this instead. Um, are you going to sideboard any cards? I have sideboarded some cards already. Okay, I'm going to just see if I want to sideboard some cards. I think I do. Um, these come out face down, right? Yeah. One, two. Is he ever going to actually... The beta testers, they thought that Dark Awakening Prime was bad. Oh, they thought he was bad. <laughs> I never thought he was bad. That's uh. Then again, I think all cards are pretty cool uh, in a vacuum. Admittedly. Just to be fully, fully transparent. Uh... problem is I can't remember what a lot of oh actually wait is it poor form if I pull up a copy of your deck list for the sake of recalling what some of your cards are named oh you should yeah it's open information okay uh, playing rabble rouser <laughs> <laughs> where did you put all those deck lists I gotta go look for that hang on <laughs> did you pin that um maybe let's see I'll, I'll check I'll check the discord right now I can also just scroll up. I, I've already. I should it. really be better prepared. I scrolled up. Okay. Cool. That's that's okay. That's an okay deck name. <laughs> am I a little? Am I a little jealous? Yes. That's an okay deck name. I'm gonna pull in three more cards. All right. Siding in six cards. So out of here. I don't think I want to rely on top decky things for now. Two. Three. Um. Four. Hand of five. As it says, Bill Moon playing the two best five-star characters. Uh, debatable, but probably in the top five for sure. I think there is there is some definite um, inherent Ravage love uh, in that statement. Hey. Oh, do I have to stop searching for that to work? 41? Hang on. If you would like Vangelis to pick other sideboard cards, be sure to mention that in the comments. No, don't say, don't say what cards I have in the comments. Stream Sniper? <laughs> the stream, stream Sniper. It's <laughs> toxic. <laughs> Also worth mentioning, given the, the current time of day, I am in the midst of a circadian reset. What the? Well, hold on. Who wrote the? What is? What's this? What's you can you can look at the stream for a sec. What's this? What's this? Who wrote on my? I was busy um um preparing my materials. Who? Who did this? Who? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was Hawkhammer. Hawkhammer, you're on timeout. Um. <laughs> Anyway, what was that? Now I lost my train of thought. I was saying something. <laughs> uh, I have 40 cards. They're shuffled. Um, I have 43. Uh, giving me your card count. 
good information to have. Uh, oh yeah, in case anyone's wondering what's up with this time of day thing I'm doing right now, uh, I'm in the midst of one of my little circadian spasms. So, uh, uh, I woke up around two in the morning, um, Eastern time. <clears throat> it's all good though. It'll cycle. I ba- basically, I live in a 28 hour day cycle. So sometimes I, I'm always traveling the globe in my internal clock is how I like to put it. Um, uh, since we're talking about Star Trek, have you considered moving to Bajor where they have 26 hour days? Yeah, I have, uh, but I couldn't keep track of the political situation going on over there. Um, yeah, it's a little scary. I got sent this weird, like, um, this, this weird, uh, video from some dude who does not look Bajoran, um, called Ducket, and he was like, let me tell you all about our great space station, and I was like, that seems pretty sus, so I decided to cancel that vacation. Yeah. Wave sign, wave sign calling me out that I've got, um, Matrix of Leadership and Aerial Bot Enigma in this deck, uh, I guess I may as well, since it's been said in public, um, it's all part of the plan. These are all planes. They are. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, I'm going second, so I only draw my initial three cards, I believe. Rumble, I will, I will draw four. That's right, I'm not though. really happy about it. That's right, you, yeah. Enjoy, enjoy it. <laughs> I'm waiting for my cards to appear. Hurry up. Oh, there they go. Come on. Come on. Technology. All right, cool. I uh, can't play any of them. Um, let's. <laughs> oh, is it is it doing that thing where it's? Uh... Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, oh never mind. Anyway. I thought I thought you were having that thing where you go to draw and it doesn't it doesn't draw right away. But I see you have thirty nine. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it took a while. It took a little while. Let's put ravage. All right. Uh, let's. Uh... <laughs> Let's just go into, you know, I don't like Rabble Rouser very much. Let's just go into Rabble Rouser, and I'll jump into the Repair Bay. You made Rabble Rouser. I don't like him very much. Good lord. Going in for three Pierce 3. Oh no, he's a Decepticon, and he has minus one defense. So, and I have plus one attack. So, going in for four Pierce 3. Four to my one, so I take three. I did the Pierce... Yeah. Did, uh. <laughs> the Pierce didn't matter. I was going to take three away. It's so creepy. All right, I'm going to draw for turn. <laughs> uh, Fun times for everyone. Why is he in the repair bay? Why is RC in the repair bay? No, why is it, why is Ravage no, in the no, repair bay? No, why is... Why is he... Um, you know, it's, it's, it's kitty corner. Uh, so he has 10 health right now. He has 10 health right now. Okay. And 2 defense, effectively. I think I have to uh, take a massive risk already, and and basically, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing, um, what is it? I'm doing uh, a swing, swingy play. I'm gonna do some swingy play. This may play out, or this may, this may be my doom. But hey, this is Sonic Doom. Doom. I'm gonna put Cosmic no! Cannon onto Thrust. Who let that card in? <laughs> it's good. It's a good card. This is balanced. <laughs> uh, I'm going to flip Dirge. I can only play one card this turn because I'm turn two. Dirge Correct. will attack. I mean, oh, this is going to. No, I. Hmm. Whatever I do, I'm oh, got to open up someone. And it's going to be pain. I, this is the best chance I have. You only live once! I'm going to attack Ravage and. Bolster yeah, thrust. Yeah, minus one attack. I have plus one defense. Coming in with a base of uh, ten. Coming in for fourteen. Uh, fourteen blocking three. Take eleven. You only live 
wants, baby! I'm gonna untap Dirge. <laughs> I are sad. That was a big risk, because basically, if that didn't happen, I would be very, very in a bad place. And if I didn't do that, I would be on the back foot. I had to. I had to. Okay. You're a monster. <laughs> Try for turn. Alpha Strike. Okay. That's the card I should have gotten last turn, but, uh, well, I couldn't have played it anyway. Um, let's flip. Hmm. This will, yeah, this will prime. This flipping prime is good, I think. 4.30 in the morning, screaming, you only live once. Rip my neighbors. Okay, yeah, you untapped the dirge. That's right. That's why that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> so let's see. Probably coming in with Rabble Rouser next, which is sad times. Um, a secret. Action. Put a monofiber filament on Prime. Mm. Sure. We'll go in where we gotta go. All right. All right. Going in for seven pierce, seven pierce two. I'll jump into this the repair bay too. Seven to my three, so I take four. Um, I kind of want to keep everything I have. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to draw for turn. Oh, ho, ho. okay. Hey, didn't another community group just ban Frost? Don't know what you're talking about. Look, I, I'm trying to keep track of all these cards. You know, I can't keep my eyes on, on, on the entire planet. Uh. <laughs> okay. Can I Alpha Strike Optimus <laughs> Prime? No. Um. It's already been second turn. Plus, this card is bad. <laughs> As you can tell by the notes. That's just it's just needlessly cruel. Um. Bringing down his confidence. I'm going to play action for turn, counter espionage. Mm -hmm. I'm going to name Tetranite Microlining and look at your hand. Well, this is not a Tetranite Microlining. However, this is this one is. Get get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get it out of here. And this is hey, what was I that? I feel vexed. <laughs> Control the perimeter. Okay. Control the perimeter. Well, well, that's okay. Um, knowing that information, I'm going to put a sturdy javelin onto Rabble Rouser. And Rabble Rouser will attack Optimus Prime. I'm gonna throw the dirty the dirty javelin. Uh, I'm gonna throw the stinky javelin at RC. RC takes two. And then Rabble Rouser with a base of six into Optimus Prime. Coming oh, in for two one. seven Pierce one. Oh, it's a white pit. That's too much. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. How much pierce? Uh, seven pierce, one. I'll take the one. Ugh. 
Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. No trades. I flip a green. Uh, I do I want to back. trade for that? You know what? Let's see. Mm -hmm. No, I need both my cards. Tough turn. This one away. Get out of here. Ow. I just hit my elbow oh. on my desk. Oh no. Of my hubris. <laughs> I'm going to look at my scrap pile real quick, like. Aussie, thank you for keeping folks in the chat up to date. That, that dirge one-shotted Ravage. And this Sonic, is what it is. Sonic doomed and untapped whilst doing so. Let's flip our seat. What? Yeah, look over my options here. Let's put a riffraff on Optimus. Yeah. Let's play a steady shot on RC. Stop it. Let's go into th Rust. Go into Thrust. Hang on a second. Hey, naked naked chicken strips. Naked online chicken strips is... Uh... I don't like naked chicken strips. I don't like there to be some ranch dressing on the side or honey mustard. Looks like I'm going in for four. Here's four. I'm four here's four. I'm going to put this user in timeout as well. Uh, sorry about the delay on my flips. I'm I'm moderating the chat. I'm just doing I'm doing every single button click on naked chicken strips. It's just boring, unless you have a really good writing on it. It has to be fantastic, though. All right. Uh, what did you come in with? Four Pierce 4. Oh, I take four. You'll know on that if thrust. that was Demolisher... Hi. I put it on Thrust, not on, Demol on Rabble Razor. I put the four on Thrust. I made a big assumption that you just wanted to kill Rabble Razor. No, Thrust is definitely the threat. <laughs> 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 I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, okay. Oh. And uh, now here comes Dirge. So I'll draw for turn. Mm-hmm. What's Dirge going to do? I'm going to flip Dirge for the plus one. Give Dirge a Fusion Boror. Ah! Curse that card. Play Focus Fire on Dirge for the bold one. And Dirge will attack RC. So base of 8 Pierce 3. That's a white bit. Coming in for 13 Pierce 3. Ugh. 13 Pierce 3 blocking... Three? Take ten. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Dirge really is not in the mode that gives him the untap, I should mention. Because I wanted the plus one. And, haha! I actually wanted that to happen. So that the stage would get free. You did I'm not! Right. That's a lie! <laughs> <laughs> I, we will un Actually, I'll trade uh, point position for scan the vaults. All right. And, we'll and I'll untap, and he will not repair because there's no one there to, re to man the repair console. Womp, womp, womp. He'll jump out. Uh, combat deck will transform. Oh. And all these cards go away. And draw for turn. I'm sad. I am sad. Actually, I'm going to check my scrap pile real quick. Checking the scrap pile is a, a common move by pro players. I noticed that at the Energon Invitational Tournament at PAX Unplugged 2019. I don't even know what that is. I was the 37th best... No, sorry, was. I am the 37th best player of Transformers TCG on the planet. I'm like the 98th or something, because I left early. 
I was tired of sitting in a seat for 11 so I, hours. It was I, didn't, a I didn't leave early specifically because I had a feeling that if I just play all my games, my rank will skyrocket in the lower 30s. <laughs> and then I can brag for And lo and behold, it was crazy. That's what happened. That's exactly what happened. I'll play Scan the Vaults and draw three because there are two Scan the Vaults in the scrap pile. Shaking my head. Does it actually help? Mm, it helps a little bit, I guess. Um, let's replace the monofiber filament with an Energon Axe. Unnecessary. Hubris. Hubris! Let's uh, remove Thrust. Um, I will jump into what? the station. And let's see, how much health do you have left? You have three... I can probably get that. Yeah, especially when I shoot thrust uh, by jumping into the console. <clears throat> and now I have the pierce. So, going in. I'm going to flip my defense. <laughs> <laughs> going in for, let's see, um, six, nine, ten, ten, ten pierce four. You're lucky you got that pierce. <laughs> uh, so this gets scrapped. And thrust is KO'd. Yeah, I don't actually know, Ozzy, what my rank is. I was I was definitely out of it um, after uh, my performance. There was this mean. There was this mean Metroplex that uh, I ran across. I wish I, could, I could, wish I could say hi to that player and tell him that he destroyed my ego. Um, <laughs> shaking the fist at the screen right now. That, Ugh, that, I hate that, that Metroplex guy. player just friggin'. I stepped into HWL too. Like, all right, Sonic Doom, fun strat. This is a good, fun, simple deck. <laughs> I faced some Metroplex player. Just like, just, just. Uh, took took me to the top of a tower and threw me off of it. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I want to pick up this green pip. I'm sorry. Um, how, many, how many cards in hand right now? I have three cards in hand. That's too many cards in hand. Um, I also don't... I don't know what I'm afraid of. You're afraid of Americans. I am. Uh, there's a whole song I wrote about it, actually. I let Trent Reznor uh, and, and David Bowie handle <laughs> that one. This, you know, kids are up and coming. Um, it's my childhood right there. I think the Energon Axe is the worst thing you could have on you right now already. Um, yeah, I'm going to trade for that Focus Fire. You get to attack me twice. I'm going to draw for turn as well. <laughs> Cozo. <laughs> uh All right. <clears throat> any secret actions here on the Piggy P says I'm curious, are there any fan cards for Power Glide in the game yet? That there is. There is a card named um Autobot Power Glide. Yes. It turns into a gun, if I recall correctly. Turns into a gun for Spirion. In fact, you can play aerial bots with Autobot Powerline, giving you a six wide team. Using a stratagem, uh, I believe. I flipped Dirge. I am going to play a grenade launcher on Rabble Rouser. <laughs> I'm going to play. Let that card in. Focus fire on Rabble Rouser. Uh, I will now attack with. Rabble Rouser into Optimus Prime for a base of 10 with bold 1. Boy, howdy. White. Oh, that's a nice flip. Coming at you for 13 Pierce 1. I blocked... Um, oh, he's a Decepticon. I blocked 5, so I'll take 8. Alright, uh, I'm going to gather these. I must now also attack with Dirge, because you're tapped out. So with a base of four Pierce one. Heh. Coming at you for seven Pierce one. Uh, walk four, take three. All right. Live on two. That's what it appears to be. That is incur. The server meme for the Bayformers Discord server is alive on one. So the, how? Yes. How could you embarrass me like this? I am definitely. <laughs> Uh, we will untap. I will jump out of the station. And draw for turn. All right. That's no help at all. <laughs> There's no help at all. We'll stick with that. Um, let's see. Picky Peeves is hype. 
that Power Glide is in the game through the community. He's a four star character too. Yeah, I need to run that stratagem with Super Superion. I haven't actually tried that yet. He's pretty fun. He has two stratagems. One of them, one of them allows him to play with the aerial bots. Uh, one of them turns him into an eight star character effectively, um, and he shoots. Oh, yeah, he's, yeah. he's good at shooting. Yeah, there's a, he's there's, good at a there's a whole cycle in BFA of Power Glide and the Galactic Man, where they're a little a little gun character who can pair with a combiner <laughs> or a strat can turn him into a full size eight star character, I believe. Both cases, right? Or does Galactic Man get bigger? Uh, Galactic Man does get bigger. He has a stratagem that allows him to become an eight star character as well. Oh, I, yeah, but they're, they're I, mean, I, I meant they're both eight stars. Yes, I believe they're eight stars. It could be seven. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, three factors. Very, very confusing. Um, I have no cards I can play, so I will just swing well, into Rabble Rouser and I will jump into the station and shoot Rabble Rouser for one. This is um, rude. It's not very civil. Going in for ten pierce two. Uh, ten to my two. I take eight. That does KO Rabble Rouser. Ozzy says, if I'd flip Dirge, the server meme would be intact. Yeah, true. <laughs> uh, I'm going to draw for turn. Protections. I'm going to play Hollow Matter Projector onto Dirge. Why? <laughs> I'm going to flip Dirge for a plus two, so he's a base of six. Yes. And I will attack Optimus Prime. Come on, big money, no whammies. Seven, Pierce one. Seven, blocking four, take three. Yeah, that gets him. Hey! <laughs> Just barely. Was that on the dot? No, it was one over. Oh, okay. Oh, well, then because of the stratagem, Dirge now KOs the other player. I win both games! Hooray! <laughs> I made that up. <laughs> I'm trying to bewilder my opponent by talking really fast. Um, good game. I suppose you won tap. Yes, you still have one more game. <laughs> yep. We got the rubber match. I'm definitely going second again. Oh. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> I mean, it was so much more fun yes, for I'm me. Sure. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to. I mean, you could always, you could play bravely. You could. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, Two is I, more than one. I am not going to sideboard a character. I, too, will not sideboard a character. All right. Uh, Other than the one I already have. I will keep my deck as it is, too. Picky Peeve says, if the Terracons are also in it, I'm definitely fully back into the game. Oh, hey! We got news for you. <laughs> yeah, in fact, here, let me just... Uh, let me just I think I still have them in my saved objects. In fact, in this very in this very tournament, the I think the number one deck is a uh, Terracons deck. Well, it's not number one. I think Ozzy is still undefeated too. So, oh, Metroplex versus Abominus. Spoilers. Did this pull them all in, or am I missing? I might be missing something here. But yeah, here's a bunch of uh, a bunch of this a bunch of this stuff. Check that out. Look at that. Oh, yeah. There are Terracons on the screen. I'm doing the zoom in, zoom out as well. Uh, that art was done by Harvey Bunda for Abominus. Ooh. Shout out, Harvey Bunda. Hell sparked horror. Um, I don't have the upgrade handy, I don't think. Uh, hang on. Is it in here? I just want to show them the thing quickly before we... Oh, yeah. What was it called again? Um, there's uh, the Terror Burst Shield. That's it. Let's check this out. This is fun. It matches. You can put a Terror Burst Shield onto him. And it kind of fits. Yeah, I need to, I need to resize it a little bit. But it mostly fits. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's, really, that's really fun. Anyway. 
You can actually see Abominus with the Terror Burster Shield on Engelmon's fusion. If you look at that, if you flip them over, you can see the full art with the Terror Burster Shield on. Oh, awesome. Does that... Oh, make a Engelmon. Look at Engelmon fusion. Oh, here. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Well, that's cool. I didn't realize that about Engelmon fusion. That harkens back to the dual releases of Abominus. One of them was the the re-release in Generation Selects, and this, the other one was the original one from uh, um, Power of the Primes. Yeah, they're different chests. I have that POTP one. I like it. Power of the Primes was the lion. I I don't think I I think I barely touched it in videos because I was very confused that year. I need to get back to it sometime. Uh, anyway, also Terror Burster Shield won't show up in TF Wiki. Uh, you'll need to find it under the name Terror Breaster. Why is this one uh, not given that really cool name, Terror Brester? I'm asking uh, just the, to the void. Or is that? Can we have a, an alternate, uh, an alternate Stratton card for Terror Brester? Oh, it'll be Terror Brester for the Japanese release of okay. Wastelands. Okay, okay, that's good. Um, all right, so I'm all shuffled up, so I'll draw my three. And draw one for turn too. And then I have to draw one for turn because apparently I'm going first. Oh. I'm going to put, uh, yeah, I'll put RC in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why would you? <laughs> oh, wait. He's in the wrong mode. Oh, he also has two damage. My bad. <laughs> Good, I'm, it's fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm making you, I'm making you stay up. That's part of my, my psyops. Uh, Kiki Kuku says breast woohoo. And I need to point out that it's not a breast, it is the terror breast. Yes. Or, it's so it's not woohoo, it's scream, screaming noises. Ah, it's a breast coming after me. No, it's not a breast, it is breasting. It's a terror breaster. <laughs> it's, it's a terror a breaster, yes. It's a verb, not a noun. Uh... <laughs> oh, why won't you just let me have my fun? <sighs> that was just, that was at no, no one in general. Um... Well, I'm gonna flip dirge. Uh, I, I gotta say, rabble rouser is gonna attack uh, Optimus. Wait, Ravages should be f flipped, right? Oh, he's in the wrong mode too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can only attack Optimus. Yeah, it's like how did <laughs> rabble rouser will attack Optimus Prime with a base of six. Coming at you for seven, Pierce one. I appreciate that foot. Ooh, white. White pit. Don't appreciate How much were you tagging for? Seven? seven? Seven, Pierce one. Seven, Pierce one. Oh, he's... Wait, can I jump into a station? I can't jump into a station. I'll jump in here. Um, three, four, five. Take two. That's right. Fear me. I'm scared. I'm going to do. This kind of seems kind of silly. Um, Energon Axe for Riff Raff Knickknacks. No, it doesn't seem silly. It doesn't seem silly to me. Not after those last two games. I see. I see what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Draw for turn. Look at my scrap pot. Power of the Prime's Ripper Snapper and Blot, both legit good standalone toys, IMO. Which means, in my opinion. Let's put a. So you're gonna you're gonna attack with thrust and dirge those cone heads next turn, which I think is just shenanigans. Um, I'll put a secret action down. Let's flip, flip ravage. Let's send ravage into rabble rouser. All right. Oh, he has minus one defense. I have plus one attack. So going in for four Pierce three. Uh, four to my one. I take three. The Pierce doesn't matter. This is so creepy. Creepy math. <laughs> Any trades for you? Uh, no, no. They were both just orange. Uh, point of position for monofiber filament. It is your go. All right. I'll draw for turn. I'm just going to go... I'm going to go stare at something for a second. <sighs> 
plot's transformation is beautiful. You think it's one way, but no, no. It actually transforms in a completely unexpected way. This is, uh, this is a hot take I'm going to drop. I think uh, Power of the Primes, Abominus, and Volcanicus are two really fun sets of toys that don't get nearly as much... Uh, not, not that they don't get enough praise, they get too much hate for what they are, in my opinion. I think they're a really fun paired set of rival teams that do a thing. Um... Also, Slash's proper place on Volcanicus is on Volcanicus' shoulders, using Grimlock's arms as handlebars. Correct. Piloting. Uh, Lot is a cool looking guy. I agree with the chat. Um, that stratagem, that stratagem is rude. Indeed, but you gotta get the luck of the draw. Like I had, it had yeah. to be a Decepticon. <laughs> what do? You, yeah, and I, and this is that's a risk to take, and this is a risk to take against those of us who are not running Junkions, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's a straightforward thing to do here. I'm just trying to think if maybe I can be more clever than reality. Um, <laughs> I have to. I have to go at Ravage. Let's gamble. Crystal of Power on Thrust. Um, so Ravage is not in a station. Does Ravage just have nine health? Ravage just has nine health. Okay. He just gets the plus one defense from the stratagem. Right. So he is a nine and a two. I am currently minus one attack. Unfortunately, ex uh, extermination exercise does not affect thrust. Do I just blow this now? Whoever lived safely and and faced the sun. <laughs> I'm playing focus <laughs> fire on Dirge. Um, I'm going to attack Dirge, supported by Thrust into Ravage. So coming a in base with of a, a lot with a base of ten minus one, so a base of nine with bold. I'm going to reveal control the perimeter. Bet you will. Uh, base of nine with bold one. That's not cool. Coming in for eleven pierce two. That's eleven pierce two with the minus one. Yeah. Going in. To, let's see, eleven down to nine, eight, seven, six, five. Take five. Dis Satisfaction increases. Disgusting. <laughs> I'm gonna trade for the focus fire that I flipped. I probably shouldn't have bothered with that bold. I just really, I was like, wouldn't it be funny? <laughs> to just have, you know, scatter cat pieces all over the board, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Draw for turn. I think the best thing to do right now is just to go into stealth. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Let's just vaporize a crystal of power. <laughs> for, for what? For what? Hmm. 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 Grumble. Can't actually flip this turn, because I already flipped Ravage. To save right. his butt. Um... Put a monofiber filament on Prime. Oh, you're all tapped out. Hubris. Okay. Well, we'll go into... Let's go to Rabble Rouser with Prime. All right. Oh, that's nice. Going in for four pierce, three. Uh, four to my two, so I would take two, but instead I take the three. Pierce, functional! And RC goes in to the same place. Oh, throwing cards around. 
crazy. There's a white dip, actually several white dips. Come on. Going in for two pierce one. Uh, I take the pierce one. Uh, do I have any trades? Uh, I do have a trade. Let's, uh, let's see how dumb is this. I want all this power. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. It's kind of dumb. Yeah. Let's not. Uh, I'm not going to trade that anymore. Everybody on taps? Correct. Oh, uh, I'm going to repair one. All right. That's and he'll a, jump out of the station. That's an it is your go. All right, I drew for turn. It was an unexciting... If we were in person, you would have seen my face look crestfallen uh, when I drew that. <laughs> um, so everyone's stealth except Optimus Prime again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ho, 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 hee, hee. All right. Well, I'm very happy I got rid of your crystal power at this point. Unless you want to play another upgrade. I mean, I do. Um... I'm going to play a Sturden Javelin on Rabble Rouser. No! And then Rabble Rouser will attack Optimus Prime. He's going to throw the, the Javelin at Ravage. I, I already knew you were going to do that. Yes. Yeah. Right. Coming to the I foresaw that. Base of six. I may be predictable, but I'm also pretty. Uh, coming in for six Pierce one. Uh, I'll take the Pierce one. That's right, you do. Undo that repair you just did. <laughs> uh, I'm going to trade for something. Uh, it's true. I'm going to trade for... Uh, call for espionage. Oh, no. I will draw for turn. Wary that you have an espionage in your hand. Oh, okay. Uh, Picky Peeves, stratagems are basically a, an additional star cost to give you an effect that exists outside the game. Some of them are just an effect like this that lasts forever. Uh, some of them are an effect where it says you may flip the stratagem, and usually that means that it's a one-shot effect that you can just have like locked and loaded. Um. Uh, I'm giving two defense. Uh. Let's flip Prime. Let's give Prime a monofiber filament. Ech. The crowd is disgusted. Ech. Let's play Steady Shot on RC. Broken car. <laughs> we'll send RC into Rabble Rouser. All right. What's her base? Her base is. Six? Two, four, six. Going in for six. Okay. Base. Um, oh, White Pit. Uh, six versus one. Uh, six to my two, I take four. I've gone one over my health, so it's cycled back around. Yes, it's, a, it's just like an odometer that goes to zero. So. He's over, not he's in the okay zone, not the KO zone. <laughs> Satisfaction increases. Uh, Picky Peeves, yeah, I find most games... Even ones with simple rules, I just don't get how they work till I played them once. That's why I'm really happy about solo modes and board games. Um, I'm gonna draw for turn. I want to get Aaron Axsmith in with me to show him how TTS works, uh, and also run through a little bit of how the game works sometime. Um, because I'm this. This is just the truth. Because I've done it a lot. I'm good at teaching this game, so I should I should transmit that onto YouTube. Because I've taught this game a lot. Uh, RC? No, you were supposed to attack with Ravage. <laughs> How do I do the funny yeah, there's thing a good now? Chance, there's a good chance that uh, Ravage will attack in a future turn unless he gets uh, uh, Steady Javelin, uh, Steady Javelin played on them. So that's really what he's not looking for right now. In fact, I don't think you should play it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I choose not to play it. 
you know, gentlemen's gentlemen's agreement. Gentlemen's you know, agreement. Right. I choose not to play it. How many cards <laughs> in hand have you got? I have one card in my hand. Ugh. I'm gonna say. It's definitely a Sonic Doom. So she has got two defense right now. Yes, she does. But no health buff, so she is just nine with two defense. You have to do 11 damage. Right. I cannot slip any blues. Eh, why did you get rid of my Crystal of Power? <laughs> something something responsibility something something I'm shaking my head a whole lot right now um put minor medic kit on thrust no eh Ugh. I think I have to play weird. <laughs> I'm gonna flip thrust. Oh my. Unorthodox plays. Optimus Prime is currently eight. No one ever got anywhere without flying so close to the sun that their wax wings melted off. Thrust is going to attack RC. Base of five. Okay. Coming at you for seven. Uh, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take one. That's unfortunate. How? What? Because <laughs> she's in the station. <laughs> yeah, I flipped three blues. Oh, I thought you only flipped the one card, and I was like, "How the?" <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's unfortunate. Sometimes flips work out. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to trade for bashing shield. That's not good. I'm gonna draw off a turn. Sure, why not? Um, point position on RC. Rude. <laughs> Unbelievably rude. <laughs> see, Dirge goes in. Let's see. I'm going to do something really rude. I'm going to put point position on RC. Then I'm going to flip RC. <laughs> Disgusting. Then We'll send Optimus into where he's got to go. All right. Going in for eight Pierce two. Uh, eight to my one. I take seven. Ugh. I'm going to look at my scrap pile. Oh, wait. What happened my hand? My hand went away. That was weird. Um, position. That's like oh, I got disconnected. Oh, I got disconnected. That's why I'm gonna I'm gonna jump back in. Yeah, jump back in. Uh, I'm gonna. Well, I'll wait till you're back. That's, <laughs> if I trade for greens while you're not even looking, that's gonna be weird. Uh, but yes, this is one of several platforms uh, through which you can currently play Transformers TCG. Uh, online, there is this. There is also webcam play, um, which is uh, a little more cramped on my end, but it's also doable. Uh, and I, that means you do have to print off some cards or get them printed. Uh, and then, uh, hopefully soon, we'll be able to bring a lot of this stuff back to Octagon. Uh, there are some fine folks uh, putting in some work trying to, um, I would use the word, reclaim uh, the Octagon mod.
because uh, currently Octagon is not equipped for fan sets uh, past a certain point, if if I understand correctly. I have returned. Welcome. All right, I'm going to trade for that um, um, hollow matter projector. Seems good. I am just looking at my scrap pile. Um, hmm. Hmm. This might be really bad, but I'll trade Riff Raff for Skindavolts. Oh, boy. All right. I'm gonna, draw, go. I'm gonna draw for turn. <laughs> uh, I'm play Hollow Matter Projector on Dirge. This is rude. I wonder if I gotta take a chance on something here. I'm gonna play a secret action. It's a secret to everyone, except for you. That's right. And Dirge is going to he has to attack RC. Coming at you. That he does. Four Pierce One base. I am defending for three. Coming at you for five pierce two. I'll take the two. That's just creepy. I flipped a black to make the math happen again. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what secret actions you have in your deck. Um, I suppose you're looking at my deck list. <laughs> so two can play at that game. Feel free. <laughs> I can't remember if I have buffers. I actually genuinely can't remember if I was sound of mind enough to make buffers. Stratty Boom Doom. That's my secret action, Boom Doom. Ah, okay. Hmm. Okay. Could be even the score. <laughs> That's probably a good choice. That's probably a pretty good guess there. Um, hmm, okay. Well, in that case, um, I'll just play Scan the Vaults for three. So okay. certain, so certain you can just guess my stratagem. It's a high level player. Um, oh, that's interesting. Um, oh, I can't play it this turn. Damn it. Okay. Um, oh, damn. <laughs> um, let's put a handheld blaster on Ravage. What? Let's flip RC. Oh, I was so hoping you weren't going to do that. <laughs> And then we'll swing with Ravage into, yeah, into Thrust. That was my last card. Come on, flip. Flip for me. Flip for me. Oh, darn. Two Pierce One. Uh, I take Pierce One. I will trade for nothing. Uh, same here. My secret action was even the score. <laughs> I have sleuthed you out. I went and looked at my I list. used my mustache. I don't think that I have any other secret actions in this deck. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody on taps. I did not buffer. I'm going to draw for turn. Prime repairs one. He jumps out. <sighs> um, and, and so does so does RC. All right. Oh, flip for turn. Oh, flip thrust. Uh, 
I'm going to focus fire into focus fire on dirge for bold three. Mm-hmm. And I will do a thrust support. You go into prime and RC. Well, she's got brave. I got to go under her, right? Uh, only it's a brave while tapped. Oh, while tapped. Yeah, I'm going to go into RC. RC will jump into the loading dock. All right, so I've got a base of seven, pierce one with bold three. I am blocking four. I'm coming in for ten, pierce four. Uh, ten, pierce four, blocking uh, four. It takes six. Uh, Alive on one. Uh, and it's a server. That was the first time on the server we've had the server. It's just feeling it's feeling bad. Um, I'm going to trade for counter espionage. Seems good. Draw for turn. You appear to be tapped out. Yeah. So I will flip Ravage then. I'm gonna I'm gonna do um I'm gonna generously offer you the chance to concede. <laughs> That's very generous. I, I appreciate the offer. Um, however, I will decline at this time. I see. D perhaps you remember the tale of Don Quixote! Windmills. Uh, extra damage to windmills. We'll put a steady shot on Ravage. Broken card. We'll send... We'll start off by sending Ravage into Thrust. All right. You have minus one defense. Let's see, I'm going in for four, six, seven, eight. Eight pierce two. Eight pierce two. I flipped a white pip. Uh, so eight to my three, I take five, which does KO thrust. On the dot! That's what tells me. On the dot, wow. Amazing. He does have some pretty good defense. Uh, and next we'll swing over the Prime into Dirch. It's a white pit. We got some extra Pierce coming in. I hate so that looks like 8 Pierce 5. Eight to my three, I take five or pierce five. This is creepy as all hell. Uh. Bruno loves to is cackling somewhere. <laughs> and RC goes in. You flipped your ravage the other direction from the other two, and it's not it's not in line. It's not in line. O C D. O C D. Uh going in for four pierce four pierce two. Um, four to my two, I take two or pierce two. <laughs> you look at my scrap pile real shaking, quick. Shaking my head rapidly. It's just, it's unnatural. <laughs> um, I'm going to trade that. for that focus fire. I'll trade any orders for knickknacks. Knickknacks. Because it's not like it's just the math of the game. This is including me having an armor and you flipping pierce and stuff. There's a healthy amount of Pierce in here. It's true. Like, and it still comes out. Oh, we are it's like, I take or Pierce, and it's the same. It's, ah! It's so creepy. Um, okay, untapped. I'm going to draw for turn. I repair one. Jump out. Oh, I'll flip, uh, I'll flip combat deck, too. Um, I'm going to play incoming transmission. Draw two and put one back on top. <laughs> Well, that'd be funny. Uh, I'll put this one back on top. I'm gonna re I'm gonna reveal some hidden information here. Hang on, after I put this back on top, I did not draw any upgrades off that, as I was hoping. Yeah. Um, That's unfortunate. So I am going to. I'm going to uh, just have Dirge attack 
RC. RC will jump into the repair bay. Base of four Pierce one coming at you for seven Pierce one. Seven, six, five. Sonic Doom! Doomed! I'm going to trade for that focus fire. She just got doomed. I will drop a turn. Yeah, you will. Clear the station. Clear the station. Hand me Ravage. Do it. Let's let the kitty. Let's let the kitty. Well, the kitty gets to have some fun. Uh, you notice I gave him a handle blaster earlier. You laughed at me for that. You laughed. I will. I will put a steady shot on Ravage. I'm still will... laughing. The steady shot's a better <laughs> blaster. A riff raff. Send Ravage in. Jump into the station. You have minus one defense. I have plus one. Going in for. I'm assuming that does a damage to me. Yes, it does. Going in for three, four, six. Oh wait, I have one more flip because I pulled one. Three, four, six, eight, eight pierce, three, eight pierce three. The pierce doesn't kill me. Um, <laughs> it might be everything else. Everything else maybe does kill me, but you know what? I'm happy that Opt I'm happy Optimus Prime uh, was a was a lazy loser. Uh, who, who didn't even secure <laughs> made a friggin' cassette do the work? What a loot! Hey, Optimus Prime, what's it like being dead? You're hey, guess what? You're dead. And then he looks at me, says, "Oh no," and then collapses on the spot. I gave him an existential crisis. I win the the war of attrition. Uh, good games. Good games. <laughs> Ravage only died twice. He still has seven lives left. This is the best I could do. I had two focus, focus fires in hand. I was basically like, well, if I can at least juggle Sonic Dooms somehow. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this deck, uh, I'm going to get rid of all the all-out attack, pincer movement, and uh, ready for actions, because I think they are a good idea to have tried, and much like the way I used to play when I would get to play weekly with people in Toronto, uh, they actually don't do enough in a three-wide. Um the like I I thought oh I'm gonna have five cards for all out attacks stuff to always be on there but like I usually don't have enough people by the wheel turn to actually do it. Um, and I the, think the I think the station well, actually both the stations on this side are just really potent um, as far as being able to keep a team alive. That too. Um, yeah. Also, I need to ditch uh, the star cards to be just mounted missiles. I think that if I run this deck, it's just got to be. Like, don't even try to do clever untap stuff, because it just gets in the way. Um, and I don't think the value is actually there, because I was realizing as I played the la this game in the last one, me making you have to go all in on me sometimes is preventing you from playing cards and doing flips, so it kind of is it's doing more than if I were untapping everybody. Uh, by, like, just drawing into ready for action. Yeah, this this uh, deck is uh, very flip intensive, and I'm not actually playing anything that helps me in that regard. Um, yeah, I I still like this. I like this idea a lot. I just need to change about a third of the cards in the in the battle card deck. Um, I think that this lineup works, but I really also want to try dirge in a four wide. I think that this is the dirge thrust deck, and I think that that's one deck, and then I think there's the Sonic Doom deck that isn't with thrust, and that's the other dirge deck, and I want to try that too. Yeah, it's very, you know, it's, uh, I did give uh, Dirge some, uh, you know, that buff in uh, for plus two attack in bot mode. That's something that I definitely want to keep an eye on. I think I think it's, uh, yeah, I think it's fine. Um, I do too. But, yeah, I Grand, think, uh, I think Grand, you need to keep them low. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, like, the best player in the world, but so far uh, Sonic Doom has, if anything, like, given me a chance to at least make my losses into two ones, as opposed to, like, just struggling to even do anything. Um... Like, because keeping him 4-2 with that effect, but keeping his health at 12, know, it all comes together to, like, make Dirge into, like, the blur play style with more flexibility in the deck build, I'm finding. Um, yeah, Dirge is, uh, or blur has very much uh, limitations to what he can do. Yeah, because he's, 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 like, 12 stars, right, if I remember right? He's yeah, he's pretty expensive. Yeah. So I'm excited to keep doing more with this, but I'm also feeling like uh, 
my current deck build is intensely luck based. <laughs> yeah, um, I would say that this deck um, is very um, dependent upon luck in the first two turns, but if you're able to at least get some upgrades on Prime, it becomes much more consistent in the third and fourth turn. Um, if you're able to keep your characters alive, obviously. But yeah, there's that build up time. Um, I think. But the funny thing is. The funny thing is, like, Riff Raff Knickknacks does nothing for Prime other than the fact that he stacks and gives health to its friends. It's huge, it's, uh, though. Yeah, a lot of text on it. Like, you're running, you're running characters whose main weakness is that they're, they have, like, low health. And so them getting, mm-hmm. like, a, a wide um, health buff is, uh, is ludicrous. And it's on, it's on utilities, so it's not even something you can easily just, like, whiff off of him. Like, you'd need to be sideboarding against, like, Galaxy Prime with stuff to just, like, wipe all, or, like, uh, bounce all his upgrades. Yeah, uh, disarms are good. Yeah, it's in your. In deck fact, name. the name of the deck is the name of the deck is Dis Face Arm is overpowered because one disarm is really overpowered against this deck, and two <laughs> Prime only has one arm. I was yeah when I saw your deck name, I was like, well, where's the Prime's new arm thing, whatnot? And <laughs> where's the theme? <laughs> funds. <laughs> so I, I'm just gonna say funds are funds. To, to close out the, the stream uh, for now, um, uh, thank you for letting me stream this, because I wanted to know if I could stream TTS easily, and it seems once OBS can see it, I can. Uh, and also, I want to do some more um, community set TCG stuff on uh, this here YouTube, because I don't have booster packs to open anymore. So, <laughs> it's just a real sad thing to say, but it's true. Um, I have literally no reason to open booster packs anymore unless they're Wave 5, and I don't have... $350 to spend on Wave 5 booster boxes. Um, I instead have a Google Doc of all the cards I'm missing, and please help me uh, find all the cards I'm missing. Thank you. Uh, so, thanks to all of you who did check this out. Thanks to those of you in the chat who hung out, especially those of you who are, like, uh, in this event who hung out and uh, friggin' stream sniped both me and Bill Moo uh, for tactics, obviously. Um, <laughs> and, uh, Bill Moo, uh, if people want to know more about this community set stuff, uh, what, what what's some information they should be looking at? I think uh, teletrend1.net is a good site. Um, that is our friend Zero, who administers that site, but it covers all the community cards in uh, crossplay. Um, additionally, there's bayformers.net, um, which is the Team Bayformers site. Um, I would I would say that there are more allied crossplay um, resources coming online within the next month, so look forward to that. Um, you should see some big stuff occur in the near future. Yeah, and uh, just to define a you know a term, allied crossplay is a catch-all for uh, the the groups um, uh, amongst ba- currently Bayformers and Trop, uh, Turbo Riven Old Punks and Arc and uh, a couple others, uh, who are uh, intending to balance each other's cards with each other to create uh, uh, an environment where all of these different community sets uh, can interact without um, what's the phrase the NPE the negative player experience uh, being too overwhelming. Um, and uh, as I said before at the top of the stream, aiming for a power creep that creeps out sideways rather than upwards, basically. And I like that idea because I like sideways power creep um, a whole lot. I always complimented uh, Drew on what the official game was doing in regards to that. And I never got to play with Wave 5, so I don't even know what upwards power creep is. Um, never heard of it. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm going to try to do some more stuff uh, in TTS. Um, hopefully going to record a podcast with Bill uh, about community cards as uh, as a return to WTF at TCG and uh, all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to try to teach this game too. I'm going to try I want to put up a video that is kind of like a how to play in a sense, but um, structuring a how to play for a TCG, I think is pretty tricky because you can't just teach everything. That's too much. So you kind of have to do a teach of what just the basic structure is and then say you can stop here and then start explaining some more other things uh, afterwards. Uh, Thankfully, Wave 2 Starter Set is still the best way to do it, in my opinion. Uh, It just flows really well for that, so I'm hopefully going to do that in a recorded fashion at some point. But uh, until then, I'm going to push stop on this broadcast, so I'll talk to you all later. Um, 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 uh, I was trying to think of some Um, card meme um, to throw in I'm trying to think of something, too. Um... Uh, 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 (laughs) Uh, uh, support your uh, L, support your L, don't don't bu- don't buy booster packs of community cards uh, and don't buy singles either I guess 
Oh, I have a great idea. You know what you could do? You could join uh, Team Bayformers events and win Best prizes and have them sent to you directly. We both just barreled over top of whoever popped into the Discord call to say something there. I have no idea what they said, and I don't think <laughs> it came through because their voice was right under you while you were talking. So I'm going to stop the yes, recording I... there. Take it easy, everybody. Buffer Bye. second.